What is going on, everybody? It is the Fetch here bringing us another video, and we have today on a Tuesday. It's raining here in Boston, but it's also raining trailers, dude. We just had a trailer not not too long ago, this past Friday, right? For Paul Phoenix, right? Who's back in the game now? But today's a Tuesday affair, and we got Martial Law gameplay released here today on a Tuesday. So basically, we're going back to the Tuesday affairs here. I was I was correct, right? Tuesday's the day. But also, Friday is apparently as well, which is cool. I like Fridays, but I also like Tuesdays more, all right? So, we're going to get into this here. I'm very happy to see that Martial Law is back in the game. He's one of the more iconic characters in the game for Bruce Lee uh, lovers, I would say. Uh, he's definitely been here since Tekken 1. They also had a version of his son in the game from Tekken 3 and Tag 1 and Tag 2 as well. But he's more obsolete now. Martial Law is the main law that's going to be in the game. Now, I'm excited to see what they ha uh, they have given him in terms of Tekken 8, because Tekken 8 is such a different game. There's uh, different bounds, uh, different moves look, you know, just insane. I, I, I can't really describe it with this game, uh, but there's, you know, there's so many things happening on the screen that you just really can't, you know, digest what's going on. So, we're going to get into it here and, anal and, and do an analysis and see what martial law has acquired. So, here we go. I'm actually excited for this shit. Bantan Echo is doing their jobs, man. They're releasing trailers. They're doing work for this Tekken 8, man. Seems like they're really ready for this shit. Let's do it. What we got? Unreal Engine. Number five. Get ready for the next oh my god, the voice out there. She's so good. Oh my god. The Legendary Dragon. Okay. Yo, I like the outfit, man. I love his outfit. Nunchucks. Oh my god, the nunchucks. Nice. Oh my gosh. What the? Oh, the parry! That was sick! This is the nunchucks. Nice kick. 4 4 2 3. It rebounds on the wall. Dude, size up 2 has a reason of use. Oh my god, 4 4 2. What is that? Double flip kicks for a dip. Oh my god. Oh, what is that? No. Oh my god. Oh, that was sick. Oh my god, a jab heat engager? Rebounds down two, three, four. Oh my god, what is this? Oh! I think the rage are so sick. Well, that's so sick, man. Oh, I love that. That's awesome. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let's calm it down real quick, right? Law looks great. I love all the moves I, I just saw. Insane. There was a lot of new moves in there. Uh, a lot of the old ones as well. He kind of kind of stayed the same, but he has a lot more strings that are attached, right? So let's kind of break it down here. So I'm... I'm a little afraid for this. Because <laughs> Law looks good. And, and dude, I play every character at this point. I'm going to have to learn all these characters again. Alright, so let's go back. Doing a little analysis here. Um, so let's see what we got. So, that was like a down 4-3-1, uh, I'm thinking. Down 4-3-1 strand that leads into his uh, DSS stance. 4-1, and then like a maybe like a cancel into 2. Because he does have like a... Uh, uh, DSS 1 that leads into a uh, dragon kick or just another forward 1 which is kind of like the same move just very forced out um, but now he has a different string with it down 4 2 so back 2 1 is not the same anymore back 2 1 used to kind of just fling for a screw now it's actually a bound that leads it's an upward bound I don't know really what to call this bound uh, I just call it the upward dog <laughs> or the upward bound I don't know <laughs> But it definitely leads into an upward bound, and it's kind of fire, actually. So, so he has the four three. So he still has four three into uh, DSS cancel four three, uh, which is cool. I'm not sure what that is. So it looks like a down back two. He also has like the same thing in Tekken seven, 
Uh, it's been a move that's really fucking minus that you don't use. It's kind of like a backswing blow or a sidestep move. Uh, but it seems like it's more required here, and it's actually plus. I, definitely probably not. So now he has a... <laughs> the DSS parry now is a thing after wall standing four. So after wall standing four, you usually can go into DSS and cancel. But it looks like they just applied a parry now, uh, and it's back into the game. And the nunchucks have really great use. Not sure what that kick is. But the ender, I love the ender. The size of two ender is so insane. So let's go back again. Um I'm not sure what this kick is. It's definitely a, a four kick. I'm thinking like back forward four, uh possibly. Or a down back four. It could be anything, a number of inputs, but I'm thinking back forward four. I try to guess these inputs. I love guessing inputs. Because usually I'm right, but I could be hundred percent wrong. But I'm thinking like a back forward four. Kind of it's a force kick. And then he uses 4-4-2-3 four, four, to rebound on the wall again. And then uses size of 2-1 series to, as a wall ender. That's fire. So 4-4-2, four, four, yet again, we're back at it. 4-4-2 four, four, now has a different string. So 4-4-2 four, four, used to acquire 4-4-2-1-3, four, four, which is a string that you use to get to the wall as well. And we also saw earlier 4-4-2-3. Four, four, and now what he can do is he can launch off his 442 uh into like a an inch punch i guess i don't know really what to call it uh i'll call it the uh the one inch punch because basically that's what that is uh but now it's a launcher then you have dragon hammer as a bound after the heat or going into heat it's a bound And now you have a move to also engage in using the nunchucks out of heat, which is sick. Now, this is the scariest part about this whole entire thing is this fucking jabbing heat engager. What the f- oh my gosh. What were you thinking? This is basically Hey Hachi in Season 4. Just worse. <laughs> so his 1-1-2, one, one, I'm guessing like it's a four, it's a jab-jab 4-2. Jab, and... It's a heat engager, which me which means that we're gonna get mixed off jabs now. <laughs> At any point in time, if I think you're not plus and I jab, and I still have heat available, it's gonna suck for you. <laughs> and he also has a move out of it for the nunchucks that launches. Now that kick, I don't know what that kick is. Looks like a four four kick, possibly a back four kick as well. Uh, but it also engages heat. And he can relaunch with a different move. And he still has the original... Okay, so okay, so I'm wrong. So he still has the original 4-4-2-1-3. But maybe the input is going to be a tilted input. So it's kind of it's probably going to be like 4-2, uh, tap 2, and 2-1, two, possibly. I'm not sure, because that's what the move is. If we do 2-1, uh, uh, literally fucking... He, he does that uh, ending move uh, from beforehand. So, I mean... I could be wrong, who knows, but we'll see. So Dragon Hammer Solo launches as well, and then the Rage Art's super sick. So fire, so fire, wow. What, these are great trailers. Um. I'm very excited to see who's next. And I know who's going to be next. And Y'all ain't going to be ready for this. It's going to be a long-ass video. <laughs> These videos are short. And, uh, you know, not really short. I would say, like, maybe seven minutes apiece. Maybe six minutes. Uh, but I think y'all know who's next. And y'all ain't ready for it. If it's not who I think it is, if it's not King Dog, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> uh, but we did see Lars and uh, a couple trailers as well. Uh, we saw King and Jack as well. And they've been also been made already and shown so i'm gonna assume next is gonna be king and jack coming in and then I'll, after that maybe lars in june i'm not sure or jen uh for those who want to pronounce it that way uh but very great trailer for law uh i love his moves um the outfit i really like it's a little dark it's a little darkish um he seems more like a, a flare type of guy like, you know, kind of like in Tekken 7, he has the uh, the yellow and red pants in this. And this one, he has the black pants uh, with strings going around and whatnot. He's really strapped up in this one. Um, I love the colors. It's fine. Uh, his face, not too bad. I love the hair. Uh, he just looks like, overall, he looks cool. I'm not even going to say nothing. He looks great. 
So, uh, other than that, I think we're going to get out of here. We'll see you in the next trailer soon. Peace.